Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So, yes, I am back on camera, okay? So, anyways, a lot of you guys have been asking me to talk about the whole Jamie and Nikki Perkins situation. So, if you guys do not know, honey, folks are going crazy on social media. So, for those of y'all who don't know who Nikki and Jamie are, they're the most, you know, famous interracial couple, I guess you could say, on YouTube. She's from Sudan. I believe Jamie's Australian. I could be wrong. And so they went viral a few years ago when they got married. They had a really beautiful wedding and they were like relationship goals to a lot of people, okay? And since then, they've had two daughters together. Nikki is also the sister of model Ducky Thought, who has worked for Fenty Beauty and a bunch of other brands, you know, over the past few years, okay? So a lot of people know Nikki, Jamie, and their two daughters. Now, let me be honest before I really get into the thick of this video. Y'all know me, honey. I just, I don't do vloggers like that I don't do couple vlogs I don't do family vlogs that's just not really my thing you know I've watched like a few of their videos I watch a few like the ace family I remember Shay Carr was real big back in the day but I've just never really been into those because a lot of those videos just seem really staged they try and put on a perfect persona you know a perfect life and I just don't have time for that because I know once that camera is off kids are you know running around screaming eating boogers you know peeing on the floor just all types of fuck shit okay that you don't see when the cameras aren't on. You know, and it's like YouTube has now turned into like reality television. Now, one thing I will say about Jamie and Nikki, from what I know, they've never been involved in any, you know, fuckery, any mess, um, any scandals. Uh, they've never like pimped their kids out or had their kids doing crazy stuff or pranked each other or just done a lot of the attention horn bullshit that you see a lot of these, you know, couple vloggers doing, you know. Harmless prank or outrageous abuse of their kids. I bought my girlfriend a $15,000 watch. Watch her reaction. You know, just like goofy stuff like that. They don't really do that. So it is sad to hear that they're breaking up. But I feel like this. I don't like how the media and people on social media are handling this. You have Cosmopolitan literally calling Jamie and Nikki a power couple. I'm like, really? A power couple? Do you know what that title means, Cosmopolitan? A power couple are couples who have money, who have the power to make moves and change the world. Like, they're YouTubers at the end of the day. They're a husband and wife. They're not a power couple. They're not Barack and Michelle Obama. They're not Bill and Melinda Gates. Damn it, they're not even Donald Trump and Melania. Those are power couples, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like there might have been a lot of pressure placed on these two, very, you know, unnecessary and undue pressure that might have caused a break in their relationship. You know, I don't want to put it out there. People are like, oh, maybe he cheated, maybe she cheated. I don't know about all that. You know what I'm saying? It might have just been the pressure. You got to realize when you put your life on social media, it does a lot to you. And especially when you're talking about a relationship, because now with YouTube, it's no different than, you know, being on reality television, okay? When you're doing like these couple vlogs and you have people who are literally DMing you in your inbox while you'll have your fans, you'll also have a group of people that are just constantly just negative, coming at you crazy out the blue, even though you're unproblematic, you don't do anything to anybody. For instance, yesterday I posted on my Instagram page a DM I got from somebody who said basically they wanted death to come to all dark-skinned people and they hated me, they hate my success, and I don't deserve it, I'm an ugly dark-skinned woman. Just They wrote a bunch of bullshit and I ended up posting on Instagram. And people are like, why did you post this? I posted it to show you guys what me as a YouTuber, what I go through randomly. You know what I'm saying? While, trust me, the love is way, way more positive, way louder than the hate. I'm still going to be honest and show you all facets of my life. The other day I posted a review that somebody did of my CBD honey sticks, okay? That was something positive, I posted that. So I'm gonna show the other side too because nobody's life is all one way. I don't just get all positive emails. I don't just get all positive, you know, affirmations. I do get a lot of bullshit too. And so I always try and be balanced and show both parts of my life. And that's one thing I can say as a YouTuber, I can only imagine the shit that they would wake up to as a couple. One, her being super dark skin, 
him being white, her being Sudanese African, him being Australian. So while you have people who are here for their, you know, relationship goal and who, you know, they're there for them as a couple, you have a segment of the population who probably sent them nasty messages, talk shit about his wife, talk shit about her husband, talk shit about their kids. After a while, that just takes a toll on you as an individual. You can try and ignore it. You can try and rise above it. But when it comes constantly, it can take a toll on the relationship and it can create animosity. It can create bitterness. And then on top of that, you got to think about there's also people who will slide into the couple's uh, DMs and want to get with them and do threesomes and you should leave or you should be with me. So there's all types of different things that come with that when you decide to put your personal life onto social media or onto reality television. So like I said, I don't know what was the, you know, 100% breakdown of their relationship, but I can only imagine because anytime you put yourself out there, it comes with a lot of stuff. And unfortunately, you have to have tough skin. You have to be able to weather through the storm. And sometimes it can just be too much for certain people, you know, to be able to deal with. So on her channel, this is what Nikki and Jamie decided. This is a statement they decided to put out there because a lot of people have been noticing for months. They haven't been making videos. She basically removed all of his pictures pictures off of her Instagram. So people were suspecting a lot of things, but um, you know, up until now they had been quiet about everything. So this is what they had to say. Go ahead and check this out. So Nikki and Jamie made a video called What is Going On With Us? And they say to everybody who's been reaching out to us with love and concern over the past months, we would like to say thank you and that your continued support over the years has meant a great deal to us. We have wanted to make a video to address why we haven't been vlogging together, but the truth is it was just too hard to record and that's why we've been staying silent on the topic. We have recently made the painful decision to separate through this hard time, we would like to thank you all in advance for respecting our privacy. We would also like to jointly say that any rumors that have been started about why we have parted ways are completely false. Jamie and Nikki. Honey. All right, so you guys just heard that from them. So like I said, there's been all types of rumors, you know, people speculating, talking about infidelity and stuff like that. You know, I don't even know if it's any of that, but she's saying whatever rumors people are putting out there, dead it, that's not the issue. I can see the pressure more than I can even see infidelity. Honestly, it's just a lot when you put your personal life out there. And, you know, they've been doing this for about seven or eight years. And sometimes people just grow apart. You know, and it doesn't mean that anybody's the good or the bad guy. Sometimes people just separate and they want to, you know, they want to be known as individuals. They don't want to be Jamie and Nikki. They want to be Jamie. They want to be just Nikki, you know. But I think as long as that they're both there for their daughters and they're both able to co-parent, you know what I'm saying, in a healthy situation, that's all I can ask for, you know. But at the end of the day, the entire situation is sad. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens, if she's going to end up taking over the channel, if he's going to create his own channel. Because we've seen that happen with a lot of couples who end up breaking up on YouTube, is that, you know, the guy will go and create his own channel and create his own fan base, and the girl she'll keep the original channel and things like that. But this is why we should never look to anyone. I don't care if it's a YouTuber, if it's a celebrity, as couple goals. Right now, you literally have black women all over the internet, you know, saying stupid stuff like this. Go ahead and check this out. I knew it was coming, but like a dummy, I hoped that Jamie and Nikki had another reason they weren't vlogging. Love ain't real, y'all. Marriage is for the birds. Really, bitch? Really? And this person has damn near 500 likes, but that's the attitude I'm seeing all through Twitter and all through social media, that marriage is a lie, it's for the birds, there's no real love. Now, you know, I, I get that, but because of Nikki and Jamie, you don't even personally know them. Like, why are they dictating your happiness? I've been married before and I'm divorced. And I would never tell people never get married. Oh, marriage is for the birds. There's no such thing as true love. You know what I'm saying? Just be single. I would never put that message out there. 
No, each individual person has to live their own life. Stop living your life vicariously through people that you do not know. There is real love out there because I've experienced it, okay? There's also real damn heartache, but that's a whole nother video. But there's true love. And anytime one of my friends or family members get married, I'm super happy for them like it's my own wedding. You know what I'm saying? Because I love to see people in love, regardless of their race, their gender, you know what I'm saying, their uh, orientation. I don't care about that. It's very hard to find a soulmate and a companion, you know what I'm saying, to travel with you through this, you know, life, through this life journey. It's hard. So when you can find something that you're compatible enough with to walk down the aisle, that is something special. So, you know, them breaking up, it's sad because like I've told you guys before, the divorce is like a death. I don't take that lightly. I don't, you know, rejoice in anybody going through a divorce. It's a very, very hard, difficult thing to deal with. So in this time, I do think that they should have the right to their privacy. But people need to stop with this foolishness of, you know, there's no true love and, oh, white men are just as shitty as black men. Oh, you know, men just aren't shit. Y'all don't even know what happened behind the scenes. You know, how about you, instead of y'all focusing and being infatuated with this couple, how about you put that same energy into your own boyfriends, into your own relationships, into your own husbands? Because people who are truly in happy relationships, they're not losing sleep because Jamie and Nikki are breaking up. It's sad, but they're going to continue living their life. So it's really sad that I see a lot of, you know, younger women, you know, posting stuff like this and saying that they'll never find love because these two have broken up. You know, at the end of the day, stop making people that you don't know your relationship goals. Focus on your own personal relationship and hopefully you'll be all right, okay? And this is coming from somebody, you know, who's been through a divorce and I would never not marriage. I would never say that there's no true love out there. There is love out there. And maybe one day I too will find love, okay? Who knows? Keep me in damn prayer, y'all, okay? Anyways, that's the end of my rant. I'm done talking about this topic. I wish Nikki and Jamie the best. I wish the babies the best. As long as they're co-parenting and taking care of them babies, that's the only damn thing I care about, okay? Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Nikki and Jamie Perkins. How do you guys feel about them separating? And were they, you know, your relationship goals? Are you disappointed? Are you sad? And how do you feel about so many women on social media, like, literally being devastated behind this breakup and now screaming that there's no real men out here? They can't find love. You know, love is a fantasy because these two have broken up. I just, I just find that just weird. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.